Time now is 18 minutes past seven. Recycling is set to become easier in England under new government proposals allowing everyone, whether at home, work or school, to recycle the same materials. Weekly collections of food waste will also be introduced to most households across England by 2026. Our environment correspondent Jonah Fisher has more. How much food do you throw away? Gillian is making her lunch at her home in Essex. She puts the leftovers out ready for the weekly food waste collection. But where does it all go? I have no idea, to be quite honest. In Essex, there's a separate food waste collection. But that's not the case everywhere. Gillian's leftovers end up in Dagenham. It does smell a bit disgusting. It might smell to you, but to us, this is a valuable resource. This is fuel. At this anaerobic digester, the food is mashed up and water added. This is soup, which we feed into the digester. Soup? You actually call this soup? Yes. That soup then emits a gas that's used to generate electricity. Using our leftovers like this makes sense to the government, and today it announced that it wants all of England's food waste to be processed separately by early 2026. This food waste has all been collected separately but at the moment only about a third of households in England do that. Under the new plan everyone will have to start separating out their food at home bringing new responsibilities for us and also for councils who will have to pick up that food waste once a week. All the other nations have been implementing separate food waste collections for several years so England is really quite far behind. So what about our dry recycling? The proposal that we should force you to have seven different bins in your home. I've scrapped it. With seven bins off the table, if they were ever on it, the government has decided to keep things simple. If your council wants to, all your glass, paper and metals can be mixed together at home. There's also a list, meaning every English council will have to recycle the same things. The government is fiddling around with a system that's fundamentally broken and the public want to see action on this. The government needs to get serious about dealing with this problem and that means backing measures that will cut the amount of plastic packaging produced in the first place. Back at the anaerobic digester, what's left of the food waste soup is sold as fertiliser. This is liquid gold. You may not share his enthusiasm, but at least pause for a moment before you next throw away your food. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, in Essex. I think we need to get an update on what